People of the European Space Agency were ecstatic when they accomplished that feat. Since then, they've learned a lot about comets and the challenges of this operation. Engineers last heard from the probe in November. Well, Fred Jansen is the head of the Rosetta Project for the European Space Agency, wearing exactly the same shirt as you did at that moment in Mission Control. Yes, as it so happens. You like that shirt? Yes, <laughs> it's, it's my lucky shirt. Tell us about that moment of elation. What was it that said to you as the head of the mission, we did it? We have in the center of the lander, there's a metal pole on which the lander sits. And we saw the lander sinking down on that pole. And that was something which could only happen when we hit the surface. On top of that, we kept getting the telemetry, the information of the spacecraft and the lander. So we knew we've hit the surface. And as you continue to get that information, you were saying to me that uh, that was maybe a, a pleasant surprise as well. There, was, there were many risks, but one of them was that you wouldn't be in constant communication. Many things could go wrong, but the fact that we kept getting information and later on that we found out that actually the thing hadn't really stopped but bounced again, but we kept getting the information was, was an amazing thing that we hadn't really counted on that. An extraordinary feat of science. You know people have been fascinated by it, including here in North America. From your perspective, what, what was the most fascinating or what were the most fascinating lessons from, from the data you got? that the comet is incredibly hard. Its surface, just there is above there is a black layer of dust and, and some other stuff, but immediately below there is ice, but it's not normal ice. It's incredibly hard because the ice crews we have in the legs of the lander didn't function. They couldn't get into the ice, so we bounced back. So why is it that based on the, the, the huge volume of knowledge, maybe it's not so huge, that we have, that this ice could be of a hardness that you, you didn't predict? Well, we've never really been at comets. I mean, it's the first landing, and even in the past, when we, when we studied comets, we flew by a day, two days at most. So we don't really know what these objects are like. And that's why this was a bit mission impossible, because you design something to land ahead of time where you don't know what it looks like. And actually, this is not the original comet we plan to go to. So the surface much harder than you expected, the mass of this comet much less, I guess, or the density much less than you expected. Is that right? Well, the surprising thing is if you look at the images, this looks like a real rocky thing. But if you throw it in water, it floats. It's half the density. So yes, it is a fairly light thing. What's Rosetta doing right now? Rosetta is still flying around the comet. It keeps on escorting it to the closest approach to the sun on the 13th of August of this year. And then it will follow it out, back out, uh, uh, far through the solar system to the distance of Jupiter again. And that's in September next year. And then we run out of steam and then the mission ends. But as you get closer to the sun, as it gets warmer, I guess there is a hope that Filet will, uh, will wake up again. Yeah, Filet is in the dark at the moment, which is good because at the original position, it would have died of heat by now. But it could also be that in the meantime, it died of cold because being in the shadow most of the time. So we hope that when we get closer to the sun, the intensity of the light goes up. There is enough energy in the one and a half hours per comet day that it sees light, that it wakes up again. And for all the technology, all the knowledge, all the time you and your colleagues have spent, all you can do now is wait to see if Filet will wake up. Yes, that is true. We can only wait, but Rosetta does all, all the other stuff in the meantime. Fred Jansen, a real pleasure talking to you. Thank you.